What's up? Um, real quick, I have the craziest story you've ever heard in your entire life, bro. I swear to God, ready? I was at the zoo and there was this caterpillar. It was probably about this big, like, eh, it was about this big, maybe a little bigger. Probably that big. It was climbing on me. And I was like, ooh, that's so gross. And... <laughs> 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 All right, anyway, where was I? So I gotta get something off my chest. Um, I gotta say something. It's about Emma. Um, ah, my face is just, ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm freaking tired right now, dude. Retweet. For a shirt. Where'd you get that? <laughs> you trying to out cool shirt me? Bro, I'm a shirt type of guy. You know me. Whose shirt's cooler? Bro, mine's cooler. Yours is cool, but mine's cooler. You know, shirts are underrated. Shirts are underrated. Bro, I'm a big shirt guy. Like, when you can appreciate all types of shirts, you start knowing, oh, what shirts are your shirts? And I'm trying to, like, freshen up my wardrobe a little bit. I've been wearing the same BS for the past two years, and it's time I step it up. For shorts. New hat, too. It pairs perfectly with the shorts, may I add? We're gonna make a Strawberry Park vlog just so people get more info on it. Cause a little update maybe. There was a thing, the shipping took a month and it was like, moms were angry at me. This is a fraud, but it's an independently owned business. Like we're trying our best. Everyone's going to get their products. It's just things are slowing out of our control. But that's for another vlog. You guys can understand that. It's a process and we're still learning. They just delivered this book here. I don't know why they would want all of us to read that. Dominic man think and get laid the 11 keys to unlocking female attraction Who did someone is that the one that I oh I helped him write that one actually oh shit you wrote this yeah you co-wrote yeah it's co-wrote it's like in the small print Cause no. this just got delivered to us and I was like who, who ordered this and I was like what the heck whatever whatever but who cares I'll look at it just to see new tattoos we got blasted I got pricked you got blasted so you know Rhino's finishing his sleeves and whatnot got my mom's name right here oh. Heather this is her first time seeing it I didn't even text her or nothing about it it's her first time h-e-a-t-h-e-r hope I spelled it right I think it fit the space perfectly and our artist, I'll pop up his IG on the thing. He's super dope. This is the freaking tat. So I needed something to fill this gap. So I was like, bro. That's perfect. That's like, perfect. I was like, bro, run my mom's name on that thing real quick. I got my dad's signature on my ribs, but I don't know. I, I feel like my, like moms, my, like dads and moms, family. I have my brother's uh, signature on my ribs also. So, oh, this hurts still. Ah, uh, look at that. Uh, we have the University of Maryland M blasted huge right there. Um, I thought it would be a cool contrast to the different styles that I've had in the past. American tradition. I didn't want to be like all traditional. Duh. I wanted a blast of everything. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get it filled in with like a certain type of flag. I was thinking the British flag or the Maryland flag or something just so it's not so heavy negative space. And I got the matching hat. <laughs> <laughs> Tattoos hurt so bad. Like, I don't know why or how I get these. Hard. Sleeping on this has been like a nightmare. Like, I can't roll over and it, it aches. My arm aches. Yeah, my God, you did a super clean job. What hurts the most in a tattoo is not this. This is all the shading is light work. Darker the line, like all of this dark outline, painful, painful. All this dark here, painful. The heather, Painful. This whole tattoo, brutal. This one, brutal. Jesus, easy. Because that's just light, as you can see. The eye, painful for the eyelashes. Anytime there's a hard line, I could um, agree to that. Here's my ones I got. They're small just because I'm filling in the little spots, but got the year I was born there. You're not supposed to read it like, there we go. So if I like hold my hand up like this, then it's like the right way. Okay. Whatever. And then I got my, I don't know, you already know. You think you'll get a hand tattoo? No. That's the closest I'm getting to the hand there. You're not gonna blast like nah. me? For imagine? That's, That's what I said. I'll never get a hand tattoo. I didn't think you were gonna get both arms. I, I just feel like, I mean, it's an open canvas. Like, people see you and they'll make assumptions and if your tats are hard, like mine, they'll be like, oh, nice ink. I've only ever had good things happen to me because of my tattoos. Conversation starter. Chicks dig them. It's a way that you can express it. Someone be like, oh, nice ink, dude. Oh, I love your tat. I'm at the airport security. Who, who did your leg tat? I'm like, oh, this is like Virgin Mary. What's your favorite tat? Oh, your tats are cool. Oh, that's a cool Which one is it? Oh, is it? What was your first tattoo? What's your big? How did it hurt? The the basic stuff that everyone likes to talk about. Even if someone else has a tattoo, you could almost connect with them. Like ah, my tattoo here. The second like, you start getting tattoos, you join a community of people, and I I suggest people go to tattoo conventions because they're fun. They're like you see all these spooky people, but you see cool people. I don't know. I enjoy. Like them. we're just artists, and this is just another way of expression. Oh, but your skin, Rob. Your beautiful skin is. Ruined. This is dope, dude. Like, 
We're not here for that long. And I think the only people who have grievances with this are like older people. That's not good. Because older people back in their day, the only people who had tattoos were sailors and stuff. I think the stigma, stigma of tattoos are really going away. Everyone has tattoos nowadays. And girls, we talking about some, mine didn't hurt at all. And they'll have like a, a microscopic infinity sign like on the back of our thing. <laughs> tattoos don't hurt. Um, I have two. One, like they be having the under boob or like the rib or like the, the kind of butt hip one. Y'all know I'm not lying. The hip. moon, the half crescent. The half crescent, the rose, the Bible verse. It'd be like Jonathan. 8.6 or so, I don't know. Or like a wave. Yeah. Don't get me started on the one wave. <laughs> the one wave crashing, because it has a lot of meaning, right? Oh. And then they'll be like, yeah, it is. Be you. Um, like, but then again, we can't make fun of it because they, people get whatever they want. Oh, those are common tattoos that are just funny. Yeah, girls always have very common tattoos. But if a girl has like a super unique one, I'll give her a lot of credit for that. Unique tats, I think, are swaggy. I kept seeing barbers with the barber pole. I said, let me get one of those. I'll do a full tattoo tour when I finish this arm. I got... And then it'll be Noah's tattoo video next. He's never gonna get one. I don't know, I think he might. Is he? Let's see. <laughs> I don't want to pressure him though, <laughs> if he doesn't want to. Tattoos? Mm. Yeah, one day, we'll see. Look, I ain't even finished decorating my room yet. See, look, I have this painting over there that I still hung up in there for a week. I don't know what I want, I still don't know. I thought about getting the Joker, and I thought about getting card suits on my arm, which I think are cool, but I was like, mm. first piece, eh, I don't know. <laughs> and I have two cousins, and they both always got theirs from like their shoulder up and then started going down. And I was like, hmm, for some reason, I just feel like the left shoulder is where I'd begin. When's that day gonna Come? I don't know. Maybe I'll get like Malcolm X right here. Yeah. Stand for something, you know? Yeah. I feel like that would hurt really bad. A whole person's face with like the yeah. top of a suit. What if I tattooed an arm on my arm? The skeleton bones of my hand, on my hand. Never seen that before. The muscles too. I see everybody getting like these skeleton hands on top of their hands and I just think it's a little weird. It's a little spooky. Everything's subjective though, especially <laughs> tattoos. You can get whatever you want. When I tell people this was two grand, you did what? People like the concept of tattoos, so they'll go to anybody that does tattoos. So they'll see them and, yeah, bro, this is, his stuff's so hard, bro, his stuff's so hard. And you look at it, it's like, it looks like a like a high schooler kind of drew it, but it's now it's on your skin. Like, this guy is like a world-renowned guy who has like hundreds of thousands of followers. My buddy Saul that did this one, he did Justin Bieber, Bryson Tiller, Diddy, bunch of NFL athletes. Like, people go to him. He also did my chest, too. Kind of just gotta do research, because it is on your body forever. Why not get the best? thing for it. it looks like he typed that on me <laughs> done some awesome. artists are better at some styles than others this is a my guy jeff miller does traditional which is it's more basic looking line and then there's people that do realism and then there's people that do color realism and if you would do color traditional and people that do just black and white traditional Good night. I don't think I'm ever gonna get color, but we'll see. Just black for now. In the case of a woman's attraction, it is the irrefutable truth that the masculine traits, characteristics, and qualities required to fulfill subconscious evolutionary Dude, needs can you are the basis of female attraction. And this is an important part right here. Women do not care nearly as much about physical attractiveness in men as men do in women. For women, it is not what you look like, but how you make her feel that creates attraction. Thank you. All right, give it back. Okay, can I read it tomorrow though, after you get the... Yeah, I gotta finish, like, I'm gonna get through like the first three chapters and then I'll let you. Yeah, because I was really enjoying the first, the first couple of pages really got me and it hooked me and I'm, I was interested in reading those. I, it seems like I know all the stuff that's on the book already, but just to kind of refresh my brain, I would love to just read it after you do. The best and probably only way to show confidence and high value is to approach women directly. Men who feel they are not good enough will always try to approach women indirectly and use an excuse. Whether it is asking for their time, directions are talking to their friends first it's all counterproductive and a complete waste of time what up with it i knew that already though so yeah me too um yeah all right.